I thought it was good. Uh, coach really, you know, emphasized before the game about you know the second group. You know, our first group is pretty much set. So uh, you know, the second group really got to come out and uh, you, you know maintain whatever the first group does. We saw you hit a three ten obviously last year with the, the injury and you're working on reconstructing the shot. Where do you feel like mm -hmm. you are with that right now? Uh, it's getting a lot better. Uh, it's not quite where I'd want it to be, but you know at least I'm taking them now, so <laughs> that's a, a step in the right direction. What did you in case of something you have? It's kind of auditioning for who the second group is going to be. But is it all defense? Is it just showing me? Well, it's. I mean, that's the, that's the main thing. It's the first thing. Uh, go out there and get you know defensive stops. Offense will come. Um, you just want to go out there and let the team come back in the game, or you know whatever the first group does. You know, you don't want to. Make, you want to make sure that you enhance that. So, really, it's uh, it's kind of up to the second group to kind of bring that energy, and as you just said, you know, really bring the defense. Is, is, is offense even a concern? Like not not for Casey because he's he'll never tell you it's a concern, but for you guys, like, do you see, is there enough offense in that second unit? To yeah, I think I think there is. There's a lot of a lot of talent in that second group, and you know, I think we, as we get more comfortable with each other, the chemistry starts to grow. Uh, we've got a few more pieces in the games, and I think that's going to be crucial. And letting guys kind of find where they can be most successful offensively with the second group. And I think it'll come, but, you know, judging by practice and the kind of talent that's with that group, there's definitely enough offense. How much does it help the team sort of feed into that defensive first mindset when you get to have a, a third quarter and you close them out? They didn't score over the final four and a half minutes. I'm sorry, how was it? What sorry. was the question? <laughs> I know, I sort of jumped all together. Um, does it help the team buy into the defensive first mindset when you can see what you can do on the floor holding a team scoreless? Oh, yeah, definitely. And that's, uh, we've been really working on that a lot. And again, it comes down to what Coach Casey really emphasizes, especially with the second group, defense, defense, defense. Um, you know, we go out there and we build that confidence when we're getting stops like, uh, like we did at the start of the third. And when you get those stops and you get one and then another and another, does mm -hmm. it just... Up the intensity of the defense you're playing? Yeah, it really does. And uh, it's kind of a feel, too. It's just like you get in a rhythm offensively, you can get in, into it defensively as well. So, you know, as long as we're getting those, you know, one, two, three stops in a row, then uh, then going forward, it really helps us out. Did you apologize to Quincy when you took the ball out of his hands yeah. and scored it? <laughs> I, <laughs> I did. I did. I felt bad. I, my, my eyes were on the ball and trying to just get it back in the hoop because we were so close. And I put it in, I looked down, and he's giving me faces. <laughs> really? And I'm like, Quincy, I'm so sorry. I, I know you're a big man. This is your offensive board. I apologize. <laughs> How are you feeling on the floor with Dwight just spreading things as a point? I feel good. I think he's very talented. He gets to the rim like, with ease. And, uh, and if you look, I think he had five or six assists today. He's finding guys when his shot's not there. So, you know, he's making a lot of his teammates better when his uh, initial shot's not there.